Hey everyone, welcome back! Today is May 20th and Barrow is coming to the Pluto Orcus Relay. Angels of Zeraman has finally settled and I hope you have all been enjoying your new Incarnon weapons. We got more videos coming out looking at the impact of new synergies with Focus 3.0, while also covering what we can accomplish with the new Arcanes. I hope you'll enjoy my next few uploads as well as we wait for the next update. DES teases us with two more Incarnon weapons coming, a dagger and a shotgun. But till then, Let's see if we got some more prime disappointment today. Barrel key tier has arrived. A Weaver Fighter decoration. It seems like they're continuing the trend of giving us things to put in our Empyrean fish tank decoration. I guess feel free to pick it up if you like new stuff, because this is our new drop for the week and it's a pure cosmetic. We also got a Prime Quick Draw and a Prime Tactical Pump. This is actually a decent mod, a little bit more situational, but 88% is enough to get a use out of it. This on the other hand, this is a huge boon, especially to certain weapons like Tenarica Plasmor, which has obscenely long reloads. Alternatively, you can use the Prompt Magazine mod, which gives 110%, which is slightly better than this in DPS uptime in practice. But you can go check out my video on this. I'll put down in the description a link at the top right as sometimes you may just want a faster reload for a better feel on the weapon. Prisma Gracana is one of the weapons that are coming back this week. It's a decent weapon built for hybrid. Doesn't really slash properly, so it's more reliant on hunting munitions, I would say. Unless you have a minus impact ribbon, then maybe you'll be able to do something about it. But besides that, it's a, I would say, above average gun but nothing too much beyond that. Combo Killer, this is a thrown melee mod. As long as you get kills with your secondary weapon, when it says reset melee combo timer, it's, it doesn't cancel it. What it does is it puts it at max duration. Again, I don't really know when I would use this because most of our glaives that we use are just 2x heavy builds or heavy efficiency 12x builds. I don't know how to use this, but if you want to pick it up for your collection, then yeah, go ahead. We got the Katir Presence emotes also as well, and that came back for a million credits. Zyphos Prisma skin, if you like that. The Katir Solo earpiece, that I, I can't even show it on here, but it's a little tiny thing. You'll be able to see it better on yours when you preview it. The Katir Sandana, I personally don't like this, it doesn't really look that good in my eyes. The Katir Sentinel Wings, 3-day Affinity Booster is back. Um, I would normally recommend spending the plat on this instead since it's more efficient, but if you can't do that or you don't want to spend plat for some reason, well, this option is here for this week. We got Neo 01, which is for the Odonata Prime, the only primed Archwing, as well as Volt's Prime parts. So feel free to pick this up if you still need them. Tigris Elixir skin, continuing from the Elixir series. There's another one coming back. The Elixir skins always look pretty nice. So if you like that kind of bronzed Victorian aesthetic, then feel free to pick these ones up. As for Luxum ornaments, that's for your ship, as well as the like Luxum. Katir Ephemera. You just get diamonds coming up in front of you. I don't really like it that much, but, well, collector's item. Prime Foam Nation, pick this up. Beautiful on Spore Lacer. And you may find a use for it, I don't know, on Spirex or Seer or <clears throat> maybe a upcoming compressive video you might see later today or tomorrow morning. But yeah, pick this up. It's a, it's a pretty big one. And it's also super handy for doing stuff like Castanas or, well, Castanas DPS and Eidolons are still alive. And this helps deal with the hitbox problems. Tanukai Shoulder Plates, this was only from Tenocon. So Barrow's bringing it back again for the second time. If you don't grab it now and you haven't had it, well, you're never going to get it again until he brings it. So I would suggest picking it up. As well as the chest plate and the like plates. These are all from last year's Tenocon. Rhapsody in blue. This is coming back again. It's a piece to put in your orbiter. Thank you. And the Sense of Renaus blueprint, obviously. Sazablitz, thank you for the Finity Blessing. I do appreciate it. Anyways, that's what Barrow has brought for this week. As always, I will include console down in the description and the pinned comments so stay tuned for that to see what we have there and beyond that well you'll probably see a video from me dropping later today so till then that'll be it for this one have a good one